Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Makeup with K for Candy. My name is Candy, and for today's makeup look, we are going to create this look right here. I thought of filming a video on the starting of this month, but I ended up being sick. So now, when I am totally fine, I thought of creating this look for you guys so that you can just recreate this look. Also, we will talk about my experience about LGBTQ, and I have a lot many stories to share with you. I don't know how many stories we are going to share. But definitely one or two. But without further ado, let's get started. So I'll start with the makeup fixer. So this one is by the Inside Cosmetic. I just love to spray it before I start makeup. So I'll start my makeup with the brows. Initially, I'll be using the Nika Face Body Collection. I'm making sure that I have a pointed brush for the application. So this is the shade. I literally did not feel the need for the concealer, so I skipped on it. For me, this is working pretty well, and I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the bright month. And I could see so many Insta reels wherein people are posting so many experimental videos, and it is exciting to see all those reels. For the second color, I am going to use the orange shade. I think the perfect orange shade is in the Jaclyn Hills Morphe palette. I'll be using this. The third color I'm going to use is again from the palette Nika K and this is going to be the color. I will use this color as a base and then on the top of it I will be using the golden shade from Huda Beauty's Desert Dust. In case you are planning to buy this palette, I have already reviewed this so go and check that video out. So as I told you, I'm gonna use the golden shade from the Huda Beauty. And I'm really upset about the fact that exams are getting postponed, cancelled, and when I was in my high school, nothing of that sort happened. In fact, if there are any leaves, any holidays, those used to get cancelled because we used to have extra classes, and it used to be terrible. So I think. People are racist, I tell you. So now I'll be using the green shade by Juvia. I think rather than blending, we can just tap the eyeshadow. That shows the perfect result. So I'm tapping the eyeshadow. For the other two shades, I'll be using the Jacqueline Hill. So initially, I'll be uh, dipping into this blue shade and then later on the purple one. So the brows are done and to draw the outline of the brows, I'm using the Cold by Rimmel London. make sure that I clean this pencil before I reuse it. So for the second step, I'm not using any base on my eye. I will be using it, but later I am trying to make pins. And I will start from here. And it has to touch the bottom. Then I'll take one another line and join this one. Moving ahead, I'll be taking concealer and this is the Krylon Derma 
camouflage. I will start applying this concealer inside this entire thing. Make sure you do not apply a huge layer of concealer. So don't worry about the lines because we have to redraw it after we finish up with the shadow. So I'm done with the concealer. Now I'll take a beauty blender and I will tap the concealer a little bit. So once this is done, I am going to set my base with the L'Oreal Infallible Compact which is in the shade 123 Warm Vanilla. So for eyeshadow, I will be using again all the shades which I used for eyebrows and meanwhile it's story time so we are going to discuss few things which are related to the lgbtq because we are doing a makeup dedicated to them so we will definitely have to talk about it So I was talking about 2013 I believe and that time people when they used to get to know about the LGBTQ it used to be not a very shocking thing for them because they hardly knew what it is and they used to be very ignorant I believe at that time people used to ignore it because there was zero awareness especially when I talk about India I was in my high school and then me and my best friend went out there we met her friend we were in that cafe and this girl who was my friend's friend uh, became my friend too uh, later. She was really nice. We started meeting and then after that one fine day she proposed me and she told me that this is what she feels about me. I was not shocked. I think love is love. If you love someone you can always tell this. After two days she called me. She was seeking for an answer so I told her and I said that I am straight but I respect you. She was really nice to me and the way people overreact is something which pisses me off. I genuinely explained her the entire scenario and I am never guilty about it. Neither I believe that she should be guilty about it. Uh, she told me her feeling uh, which I always respected. I feel that I am blessed moreover that people love me that way. So yeah, that happened since we are celebrating the bride moment. I would want people to understand that, you know, even there was a time when girls were considered as a taboo. People respect girls because even they are the CEO of so many companies and at times, you know, all the males and everybody is working under them. The time is changing, so are people. By the way, on the top of the yellow shade, I'm using uh, the golden shade so that it pops out a little bit more. This is again from the Buddha Beauty. redrawing the line which we created initially liquid liner which is in the shade snow white and I'll try making dots on this entire thing. 
Now I'll be using the black colossal liner. The black liner is to draw few lines. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfits. it. I will take again this pencil and I'll apply this as a coal. This is a coal. So I'll be applying a little bit of mascara for which I'm using my favorite Maybelline Colossal Mascara which is a waterproof mascara. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my Now we have the policies. I generally apply the glue first and I kind of love twisting it because then it gives you the desired shape see once this is done so i'll keep it in the center super easy We will start with the moisturizer for which I'm going to be using the Nivea moisturizer and though it is summer so I would suggest you guys not to fall for the sticky ones but because my skin is dry I'm using this. I will move ahead with the primer for which I'm going to be using the color essence. The foundation, I'm gonna be using the Lauren True Match in the shade Golden Beige. And this foundation is super cool for winters. As this foundation is not full coverage foundation, I'm gonna be mixing this foundation with my Krylon Derma. When you talk about Krylon, it has a lot of oil. So I am making sure that before I apply, it is properly mixed. And I'll be using the same brush so that it is easy to apply on the areas which is between the fins. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. So while you're creating this look, just make sure that you finish up applying the foundation using a brush and then later on you can with a blender. So for the rest I'm going to use the blender. Set my face. I am going to use the Laurel Infallible Compact in the shape one two three warm vanilla. Blush. I'm not using the regular blush. Uh, this is the Tropical Diva Lip Crayon. This is from Studio West. For which I'm using the bronzer from the olive cream. Master Chrome by Face Studio, which is in the shade Molten Gold. I 
I think this look is going to be one of my favorite look of the year. Not because the way it is created, but I really love the color. I was in love with rainbow since since I was 10. Every color in life matters. We should never hold on to one single color. I still remember the time when I broke up for the very first time and this lady came to me and she was from the same hostel I was living in. She told me that what's your favorite color? So I ended up saying that it's blue and it was also the favorite color of my ex. She told me why is this color your favorite? I said, I don't know but I always had affection towards blue. She's like, you know what? You need to include some more colors in your life. You are very small to think about all those things you're thinking right now and maybe after five or six years you will laugh on the current scenario. I still love blue but then I have included rest of the colors in my life. There are people in your life and they teach you a lot. Back in 2015 I was offered magazine shoot for the trance and I was not feeling well because of which I couldn't be a part of it. I really felt bad. But you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your and now we have the lipstick. I'll start with the liner. which I'm using here is from Lacme Absolute Plump and Shine and this is a 3D gloss so I'm gonna apply all the shades on the top of my lips because this is an experimental look and experimental look has no boundaries apart from the basics of the makeup. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't off yellow, I'll be using just the golden shade, no yellow. On my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my For green also, I'm again going for a shimmery shade. And I'll be taking this shade from Nika K. So for eyes, I am left with a blank. Two more shades on the lower side. Sachi on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. So now I'll be adding two studs. One stud on the center, the stud two in the center. And rest, I use these bindi crystals. For my outfit, go wish. Go wish. I will be applying two more studs on the inner corner. I will end this look with the same fixer from Inside Cosmetic. And that is pretty much it. I hope you guys like this video. So this time I'm not seeking for any comments related to the look. Moreover, I want you guys to show love and support to the LGBT community and also show some love to people who are still fighting, who have still not told their parents about their gender. And we hope that in the upcoming years, people come out of this, people will have a different perception so love is love and it is something more than the intimacy that is something which is a part of life 
but not the whole of it so we should come out a bubble which we have created for our own self make your parents feel proud make yourself feel proud in this pride month lots of love